Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I hope that you're doing well. I have a happy mail haul for you and it's been quite a while so I hope that you enjoy. I have not been shopping a lot so most of this really is PR and then also a good half of it is from the Galentine's with a planner event that I went to in Georgia where I met my planner bestie and a bunch of other amazing planners as well. So with that being said, I have Letters to Apollo, Miss and Meow, Sadie Stickers, a ton from Sadie Stickers, and then Panda Bird Design. So with that, um, I hope that you'll consider liking, subscribing. If you have any questions, comment below, and all of my discount codes will be in the description bar. Thanks so much, and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so before we start with the haul, I just want to say that I'm going to be using my Sadie Stickers 2023 7x9 planner. I do get mine dated. You can choose to have it undated where this is just white. Um, I don't mind whiting it out still, but I need to know what week I'm planning in because I do like to jump around and it just makes more sense for me to know like what week I'm planning in because I put all of my events and things that happened on a day in my notes on my phone. It's just like a running list. And then I will like delete um, what happened once I fill out like a week. So that's just how I process and do my memory planning because it's just, that's just how I work. <laughs> but I definitely need to know the week that I'm in because if this was just undated, I would skip weeks and then it would bother me if they were not in order and then I wouldn't want to have to like uncoil the whole thing. So it's very deep for me. I don't know why, but it is and that's what we do. You know, we overthink planning and stickers because this is our hobby and this is what we love. But with that being said, this is the Sadie Stickers Planner. I believe she still has them in her shop, so check it out if you're interested. Um, the first shop is Panda Bird Design, and I'm just going to say that this is pretty much a custom order only, so I do apologize that these stickers probably will not be in the shop. They may be in the future, but um, I'm not sure, and I don't want to speak for Jess, but they're not, and I just want to share them because stickers make me happy, and this is my Happy Mail, so I so still want to share them with you. Um, okay, so here is my Happy Mail, and then here's my freebie. Let me go into the freebie first. Sorry. My code is Rachel15 for 15% off. And then this is, as you can see, predominantly the Gathered Layers collection that I did in collaboration with Panda Bird Design. It's got shadow boxes, mini tacos, my favorite um, plaid stickers, so pretty. And then they're seasonal right now for the snowflakes, but we'll probably change them to something spring soon. So there's that. And then the first thing I wanna show you are these beautiful day scripts. I just love her font so much and her quality and the daintiness is just right up my alley. So I asked if she could send me some day scripts. Um, I feel like I've been using like the, day, the same day script, so I wanted to have a variety and something different and try them out. So um, I'm so sorry for this cut on my finger. <laughs> it is not cute, but anyways, here it is for sizing. It's so beautiful and all four foil colors with the light gold here, really pretty. And then these are also a custom. I'm so happy to have these. These are just different weighted individual single dots. So I'll show you an example. Um, this is the Pretty Pink Co. and she has like maybe three or four rows with just the individual dot. And I wanted to have like different weights on just one sheet. Um, and this is the size that's probably similar to that. And I just am so happy that there's varying sizes so I can, you know, I can spruce it up and have different dots and I don't want to have to cut them all out every single time. So really appreciate those and love them so much. This was for um, journaling my books and then also rating how I liked them or not like them or didn't like them. <laughs> what is English? But I figured this would be really fun and cute to just go ahead and rate the books that I've been reading. And yeah, I want to fill them in with some like highlighters. I think that would be really pretty. And then lastly, these are some month scripts for the month section. If you watched my 2022 December like monthly. This is what it looks like. I just reused a bunch of stickers from a kit and this was a massively deluxe kit from Two Little Bees so I had so much left over as you can see to fill out a whole section here and it was really fun. I want to be able to do this for 2023. I keep forgetting what year we're in you guys but I much rather do that this year. I think I still have two monthly kits from last year that I didn't use last year that I want to use for 2023 because I still love them so much but I don't want to purchase monthly kits anymore. I just Mostly because I've noticed and I kind of get mad at myself, but I I bought so many monthly kits, I think it was in 2021, and I didn't do any monthly plan with me's and I ended up de-stashing all of them and I'm just like wasting my money and I just, I get mad because I don't get to it and I feel like I put so much pressure on myself to have to do monthly spreads because I have the kits. So this year I'm just going to give myself some grace and if I get to it, I get to it, but I'm going to use a lot of 
like weekly kits and try to do like a free form style monthly section mostly because I have date dots I have now month scripts and then I have a ton of boxes and stickers in my reusable sticker book and icons and all that good stuff to make it full so that's the goal and these are just from January to May I already have June to December I believe so I just asked for the first half and I got them all through foil colors on transparent matte paper and on white paper. I don't have the second half of the year on white paper, but I'll um, probably sort that out later on. No rush, but anyways, this is everything from Panda Bird Design. I love Jess so much, she's amazing, and the quality of her stickers is just so great. And again, like I said, this is a custom order, and I don't know if these will ever be in the shop, so just know that. Um, but my code with her is Rachel15 for 15% off, and if you like my freebie, please put my name in the notes to sell her to get this. So really quickly, I just want to share this. This is going to be a Ray and Tay sticker in the future. These are going to be some stickers on a freebie that we plan to have in the shop so that we can include them in orders in the future. We have no idea exactly when that's going to be, but something to definitely look forward to and hopefully you guys love them. These are custom doodles from Jess of Panda Bird Design. We were so excited that she doodled these and these are just full sheets that she sent Tay and myself so that we could use them and share them as well, just because we love them and we wanna promote our binders, of course. But um, yeah, I love these. These are the, they're so cute. I can't, I can't get over it, hold on. So these are the um, binders from a side view of the spine and then there's a little plant next to it. How cute is that? So gold, then your light gold, rose gold, so pretty, and then silver. So we will be having a freebie in the future, so definitely stay tuned. I think Tay already shared these as well, so definitely check her, check out her page or just her Plan With Me's. I'm pretty sure she's already used them. And then these are the um, our actual binder with sticker sheets going inside our sleeves. Really pretty, love them. And again, just all foil colors. Really beautiful, I love the sizing, it's so cute. I'll definitely be using these, I cannot wait. They are so, so pretty. So that is everything from um, the little Ray and Tay sneak I just wanted to share with you. And again, these are customs that Jess of Panda Bird Design did for us. So thank you again so much, Jess, we truly appreciate it. And my code with Ray and Tay is Ray10 for 10% off. You can also use Tay10 for 10% off or Lauren10 for 10% off. And that's Lauren of Plan Motion Plan, she's our PR girl. And um, we have a ton of inventory, so definitely check it out if you would love some binders. Um, here's an example of one of the binders that we have. We have foiled binders, and they are my favorite thing right now, just because they're foiled. And you can totally, you know, share, or sorry, you can totally organize um, your collection based off of foil color. So here we have rose gold, gold, and then silver. And here's a little peek of what it looks like on the spine. So literally, the sticker is perfect because it's just like the spine. How beautiful is that? So really great job, Jess. We truly appreciate it. So again, here is a um, example of the Ray and Tate binders and I'll show you kind of what it looks like on the inside. So if you would like to um, make a purchase, you can use Ray 10 for 10% off. And here we have our Tuesday sleeves. They are top loading and they are double sided. We have custom molds and then you can also do like a Frankenstein binder and then here I have like quarter sheets again top loading and then we have like full kit sheets that you can put bigger sheets in. We also have a washi sheet as well which looks like this. I'll take out my tan binder that has the washi sleeves that are side loading on the inside so they don't slip out. So here is just a little a little um, plug for the Ray and Tay brand and hopefully you guys love our binders if you have them, but um, yeah, so that is everything for the Ray and Tay collection. Next we have Miss and Meow, and I got all of this during the Galentine's with a Planner event in Georgia this past February, and I was so happy to have this. I have a lot of extras here and beautiful stickers. This packaging is so pretty. I actually saw Regina doing this when we were all hanging out um, Friday night before the event, so really beautiful, and I just love it. I actually don't want to open it because it's so pretty, but this is the packaging, some extra goodies on the back. Okay, so I was totally mistaken. Only one of those craft paper bags is for Miss Meow. The other one is for Sadie stickers. So I'll go into that once I go into the Sadie stickers order. Um, I just didn't realize it. I just kind of have them stacked under the shop. So this is Miss Meow. I do have a referral link if you're interested. 
and check that out below if you want to save some money. But this kit is so beautiful. It's called Flower Market and it's perfect for spring. I might have to stop this because Jace is, I can hear him trying to come into the room and he's not the most like gentle when he opens doors. He just kind of barges in. <laughs> Okay, so this kit is so beautiful. Oh, I love this. Let me grab my planner. This is so pretty. I love this so much. I probably wouldn't put this in the plan with me. I would just save it for my own, like um, probably for like my laptop or something. So pretty and cute. How adorable is that? I actually have um, shoes that look like that. And then here is the floral, so beautiful. Two sheets, just enough for what I need. I went from like getting three to four sheets to just like two and I honestly feel like I could actually get away with just one if I also had the journaling page with some floral. But I find that I've been a lot more, um, not as crazy with floral, like I used to when floral started going crazy and trending a lot. But this is beautiful, I love the size of the bike, it's perfect, like if I wanted to just mark bike riding in the spring, um, and then maybe going out to eat or something like that's just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm just kidding. I really love the sizing of her clip art. It's always my favorite. Okay, so here we have all of your full boxes. Oh, also this is in light gold, it looks like. So pretty. I must have flowers always and always. Sometimes it's hard to write, to read the script and I'm just like, is that what it says? <laughs> I just wanna make sure. Really pretty. Locally grown flowers, seeds, blooms, stems. I love the drink that's foiled on the bench. That's so cute. And anything with like a bee trail or just a trail in general is my favorite. And then bicycles are my jam. They're so cute. I'm gonna move this because the coil is getting in the way. Then you have these scripts on swatch there. Then here you have all of your icons, your date covers. All of your swatch boxes, I love that. Tons of Polaroids. I still haven't been, um, I don't know, I've just kind of not been as inspired to use Polaroids lately just because I was using them so much, I think at one point, and then I need to get back into it because I'm just, I'm just going kind of with what I know right now and I feel like I don't know how to make them look cute in the weekly um, section other than just a sidebar, so I gotta play around with that. And I love this like brick washi sticker there, that's really pretty love her header so much. She has shortened the height of her day covers and her headers and I really appreciate that. That's actually something I've been talking about and asking for a while too, so I really love that. Here you have your beautiful scallop circles, your lace boxes. I'm obsessed with her lace boxes, they're so good. Knitty boxes and then you have um, all of your third boxes and quarter boxes and of course the lace here, which I'm so, so glad that she brought them back and I just trimmed them in half so I can have six instead of just three. And here's the bottom washi, absolutely stunning. This is also a super thin, um, you can't even see it, but it's very dainty. I don't even wanna lift it up because I might tear it, but it's a scalloped strip. Basically looks like the foiled strip here. Oh my gosh, my finger, I'm so sorry guys. Like the wound is healing and I don't wanna cover it, so forgive me. And then here is the journaling page or the decorative kit one, page one. You have your um, scripts, your day scripts here. So pretty. Torn paper. I appreciate that there are no flowers, so um, you can actually see the design and layer over it if you'd like. So great job, Regina. I love that. And then here is decorative kit page two. Absolutely stunning. I love these floral trims. And I like that they're shallower in height as well. Because sometimes if um, I've noticed that floral trims, uh, or washi, if they're tall in height and you have to trim them down, you end up kind of going here and it ends up tearing. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like you see this little divot here. If I wanted to make this shallower and I cut here, it would tear and be more prone to tearing because it's I'm making it shallower. And I've noticed that like uh, kits that offer a taller washi, like floral washi, you get all the beautifulness you know, up here sometimes, and then if you just wanna make it more dainty looking, you end up cutting off a lot. So I like that she just made this dainty and shorter in height already, so um, it doesn't end up looking too busy or overcrowded. That's probably such an intense like explanation, and I probably didn't do a good job at it, but if you understand what I'm saying, please, you know, say something so I don't feel alone. 
<laughs> so pretty. Absolutely love this. And all the clip art pieces are just gorgeous. So this kit is called Flower Market. It is so pretty. Um, thank you again, Regina, for sending and giving me that. I don't want to open this. It's so beautifully packaged. Oh my gosh, I don't want to tear it. Actually, you know what? Can I just slide it? No, actually I can't because it's attached. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take all of this stuff off on the back side. Oh, hold on. I think she wrote me a card. Please, please hold. Oh, this was the card that she included for um, Valentine's Day for the event. I don't wanna tear this, you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be that extra person. Be very extra. Was I successful? I think so. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to do this so I could preserve um, this part and like save it like this so I can I don't know, I really just wanna keep this. I might use it for journaling, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so this is really beautiful. She actually gave these to us as her table mate gifts. Really pretty, and the note says, hi, I'm Regina, and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you are having an amazing time at Guap. Happy planning. Beautiful, I love these swirl dividers. They are my favorite thing right now from her shop. She just did such a great job. Everything on this page is just beautiful. You have really dainty, stunning garlands that go both ways. You have all of your beautiful, confetti dots and then drops and Polaroids, just so beautiful in light gold. Okay, and this kit is called Unwritten. You guys, my chair is so squeaky. I don't know what's going on, but um, this chair, this chair, sorry, this kit is called Unwritten. <laughs> oh man, I am a trip. But it is beautiful and she gave us extra florals just because, you know, we love an extra floral sheet. So pretty. I love the bow. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Okay, and then here you have all of your full boxes. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see everything. It says, let's see. The rest is still unwritten. Oh yeah, I like the, the song. Really cute. I love this film strip. I love everything layered in this box is just literally perfection. So pretty. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so obsessed with these two these two boxes. This is so fairy tale. Like, wow. Very tell esque. That is so pretty. Then you have all of your icons. It's gonna be the same format, so I'll just go over it pretty quickly. And instead, of this has like music notes and writing or something. Really cute. This is so pretty. This bottom washi is beautifully layered. It's very. It's very beautiful. It's got all the journaling elements. It's just the layering is impeccable. I love that. So pretty. Then here is the decorative page one. Really pretty. And then again, I really appreciate that she made the floral strip shallower in height. I love that film strip. This is so pretty. I might end up using this in a journal, honestly, because I have, this is already pretty deluxe for me in my weekly spread. I don't think I need, um, I might not end up using everything. But anyways, these are the two kits from Miss and Meow and all of these extras and all the goodies. So again, use my referral link below if you're interested in saving. Thank you again so much, Regina. I really appreciate it. All right, so as you can see here, I have a ton of stuff from Sadie Stickers, a ton. And I'm currently getting my freebie updated, so I won't show the old freebie just because it won't matter anymore. I'm pretty sure by the time this haul goes up because she is updating her freebies and my freebie is gonna be more catered to spring anyways. So um, my old one was fall. Anyways, so my code is Rachel20 for 20% off. And if you would like my freebie, be sure to put my name in the notes to seller to receive that. And I'm gonna put my freebie as a uh, gold for spring. I think it's just a little bit more appropriate and common for springtime, but here are the table mate gifts that Alicia made during the Valentine's with a Planner event over in Georgia. It's just so, so cute and beautiful. You have tons of spring things and I can't get over this bunny and the butt, like the little tail, I can't. It's so adorable. Lots of beautiful things to use here, very functional for spring, so stunning. So I got three of those. And then we have, like I said, we have tons of things. So we have um, four separate Happy Meals that I um, got after the event, but I'm gonna go into 
what I did get during the event. Um, this kit is called Steps. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Okay. Oops. Where's the floral? Here it is. Okay. So here's the floral. Really beautiful. You have a quarter sheet here. And then also here is the, um, the strip with the floral trims. And you can totally make this dainty and like trim it if you wanted, but you would, you'd have so much space because it doesn't dip too much here and that you wouldn't cut it off. So this is a good example of like being able to trim it down and make it more dainty looking without, without sacrificing tearing the actual floral. I hope that makes sense. So here you have your beautiful full boxes. Let me zoom you in. Small steps every day. I love the layering of this with all the journaling elements. It's just so pretty. Do it for you, not them. Yes, yes, I love that. Then all the layering here, I love that. That is so pretty. Holy smokes, that's gorgeous. Like the uh, book page with the writing, the florals in the middle, and just, wow. The butterfly is coming out of it. It is so pretty. Then you have swatches down here. Here you have all of your circles and all of your boxes, different lace boxes, and then swatch boxes that are midi. And then again, I love this like uh, paint stroke foil that she did and I am so glad she did that. So thanks Alicia for doing that for me. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then also it's kind of a take on a label but it's just kind of like this um, watercolor border look which is really pretty, I love that. And then here you have all of your headers. So you have two sets here then you have like the scallop header which is also daintier so she made it shorter in height. And I love that because before I was trimming the other one and to get rid of some excess and make it look more dainty, but she did that for me or for us. I mean, really pretty, so gorgeous. And then of course some ovals down here. Then here's the beautiful bottom washi, which I believe she just made one full strip now. So you don't, um, it's not pre-trimmed for you. So pretty, and then your lace trims and then your dividers. I love the thin dividers. I'm so glad she included a lot of those, I am so happy. And then your date covers and then some clip art pieces, which are so beautiful. Here is the deco sheet. Then you have some torn paper, large florals, which I'm obsessed with. And then um, the girls as well, so pretty. Okay, that's the deco. And then here is the journaling page. You have your days here. So if you don't wanna use, um, let's see. If you did not want to use the day covers here, you could totally use these if you have the journaling page and you can do a more freeform style day cover section. I love the clip art pieces, so pretty. This is so pretty. So I'm really glad that there are two um, sets of, what's it called, torn paper because these have the floral patterns and Lauren has talked about this a lot where um, the torn paper having florals on it makes it really busy, so layering over it is really difficult. So I'm glad that I have these two here that are more um, simple that I can totally layer with and then you can actually see what I'm doing. So it's really pretty. But if you like that it's already pre floraled which I do sometimes too, it just depends on how I'm layering, like I have no problem with it. Um, it just, you know, it just depends on your preference. But this kit is called Steps, really beautiful. That's the first kit. And then this next kit, it's called, um, well, it's not called, it is the January Mystery Kit. Actually, I don't think I got, did I get this during the, I don't know if I got this during the event. I'm probably losing my mind, you guys. It has been a minute, like, I just feel like I'm just throwing things in my mailbox and then um, whenever I have enough to do a haul, I'll do a haul, but sometimes I forget like what is what. So forgive me, I'm kind of jumping everywhere, but I'm pretty sure this might have just been mailed to us. I don't think, um, yeah, it was just mailed to us. I just opened it because I think Alicia wanted me to take a look at it. So um, here is the January mystery kit. Really pretty. Love these florals. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. Oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. And then the spring sampler, which I love this. I love that she included this in her mysteries now. So pretty, you have like all of your um, washi um, trims and then your dividers, garlands, and then individual clusters. Really beautiful in gold foil. The kit is in gold. I think it's like a champagne gold. I don't think it's traditional hot gold. Yeah, definitely more of a champagne gold. I love hot air balloons. If you have been watching me for a while, you might have heard me bring up hot air balloons, especially during like summer 
and anytime summer kits come out, it's probably one of my favorite things. They're so cute. Um, losing my way, finding my soul. I love that. This is beautiful. I feel like Lauren would love this full box. So pretty. Oh my God, <laughs> so cute. So it's the same format. I'll go over it a little bit quickly here. Also, my neighbors are getting something done to their house. Like they're doing some form of construction. I have no idea what it is, but there are like 10 different work vehicles in my cul-de-sac and it is quite loud outside. So if you hear any of that noise, please forgive me. Beautiful, I love this. Literally, that is so pretty. That's a dream. Like if Greg took me on a date somewhere that looked like that, like hands down, I would want to live there. So pretty. So cute. And see here, I love that the um, torn strips are just a solid like watercolor. That's perfect. Because then if I wanted to layer floral over it, I could be intentional about where I put my floral. And then here is the journaling page. The Vespa, so cute. Really pretty. Um, and then here is the floral deco. Um, because in addition to this, when it comes to mystery kits, she makes her florals on a full kit page. So it's basically two quarter sheets next to each other, right? So it's basically just like that. Really beautiful. I love these florals so much and I love the individual pieces. They are cut so well. Like the border around the floral is very, very thin. So this kit is the January mystery kit. It is beautiful. And I'm sorry if I didn't preface by saying that that was the January mystery because I might've spoiled it for you and I do apologize. Okay, so I have a ton of other Happy Meals from Sadie Stickers. Let me open the one with the flowers on it first. I don't want to flip it over because it does have my information. Okay, so fair warning, this is the February mystery kit. So definitely skip forward if you don't want to see this one, but this is the February mystery kit. And it is so beautiful. I kind of wish that I waited to use this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bummed. Um, I wish I used this for the Palentine's party that I had for my, um, for Valentine's Day, because this would have been perfect. Like, I'm so mad at myself right now. <laughs> oh no, this would have been so perfect for it. Oh wow, I'm so bummed. Seriously, I can't. This would have been so perfect for it because it's got like strawberries and like we had a Palentine's brunch party and it was perfect for it. And then we had strawberries and everything was red. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh my God. Alicia. <laughs> oh man. Um, maybe had I opened this, I would have known and I wouldn't have just gone through my collection. However, I did use the kit. I did choose the kit that I um, used to plan that week intentionally also because let me show you because they had macaroons, which you know what? This probably is still ha is still so perfect. Um, and overall, I probably would have gone with this one just because it did have the macaroons and like this little um, tray here. It's perfect because it had macaroons and cupcakes on it and that's pretty much what was at my party. So you know what? It's, it's fine. As much as like, I feel like the color of this is perfect because it matched my um, my party so much more and there were strawberries, I still think like they both would have been perfectly good. But you know what, it's all good. And you can totally use this for summer if you go strawberry picking. I think that's the intention of this, but it is stunning. This is so cute and I can't even tell you how stinking adorable this is. This is the strawberry florals. Like, can we just take a moment to appreciate this? There are strawberries with flowers on the vine, like, Stop it. This is one of the add-ons. It is so beautiful. It's on gold or it's gold. It's, wow. I can't even talk. It's so pretty. You guys, <laughs> it's so good. Okay, all right, moving on. This is the floral trim sheet. So beautiful. And there were tiny little, oh my God, I can't talk. There were tiny little strawberries. I can't, I can't. It's so cute. I'm, God, I am literally embarrassing myself. I'm geeking out. This is so cute. Strawberries are just adorable. And when they're fuzzy foiled like that, like I can't handle it. Okay, 
<sighs> gather yourself, Rachel, gather yourself. Okay. It's the sweet, simple things in life. Yes, it is. I mean, it's stickers. It's so simple. And to some people, they don't understand it, but we understand it. You know what I mean? So, so perfect. Like, I can't. I can't handle how cute this is. And it would have been perfect for the party because um, my friend made a strawberry shortcake cake and cupcakes for my sister's birthday. And I was like, oh, that would have been so perfect for this. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm just trying to talk myself out of it, you guys. Okay. <laughs> and I love, I love that Alicia did this. She, um, I've, I asked if she could make like florals and have more white space in the headers because I actually was intentional about making my own version of doing that. I think it was a Jackson pepper kit I did two years ago maybe in the summer where I had like very simple like a solid colored header and I wanted to spice it up so I added florals on like the corner and the side and had it alternating from each full box and I asked Alicia if she was able to make something like that and um, I know it's a lot more work to make it more intentional but it turned out so good and I just like it because I think it varies instead of just like getting one whole floral pasting it there and then just like cutting out the lines which is still really beautiful but I just love that there this looks so much more intentional and I love the white space in between all the strawberries and the florals it's so pretty and then of course your scallop headers so cute really beautiful oh my god stop stop it stop it right now <laughs> I can't I can't control myself this is so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a, the biggest fan of the vine. Um, I would have loved if this was just without the vine. I think it would have been, that's what I would have preferred, but I still think it's really cute. I might just pair it with a different um, top strip, but this is really, really, really pretty. I can't even talk, I'm geeking out right now. All the clip art pieces are stunning. Look at the little shoes, oh my God. Oh, wow. Was that supposed to be a macaroon? Yes, it is. <gasps> macaron. I don't know how to say it. Don't judge me. So pretty. And then here's a journaling page. This would have been perfect for the party, you guys. There are macaroons there too. Oh, macarons. I don't know. It was a th It's macarons, right? Because macaroons are the coconut things. And then macarons are the little cookie looking things. Or the, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. They look like this. I had to look up the difference because I am not a baker and although I like treats I'm very uneducated on them <laughs> and this is so pretty see I love that there's more space in between the florals there that's really pretty all the gingham I love it and then of course you get a full kit sheet of florals and individual strawberries oh my god I adore all of the individual pieces. This is so perfect and so cute. All right, I'm gonna have to just go strawberry picking just so I can use this. And then really beautiful deco page. So pretty, oh my God, uh, it's so cute. Okay, all right, I am gushing over this. This is the February mystery kit. It is so pretty. Okay, let me open my other Happy Mail. Or, so I have three of these and I love the color green, as you guys know, I love, we love green. Um, I'm gonna open this and then we'll get started. Okay, so here's my current freebie. It's gonna change, like I said, but um, I don't know when, but this still has fall stuff on it, but we will be having all spring things on my next freebie. Okay, so I don't know where to start. There are so many, I think this is kind of like mixed up. We we'll just take everything out. I think that's probably always the best option is just take everything out and see how it goes, right? My plan this year is to not use a specific Easter kit, but instead like, um, hold on. I can't think and move things, I guess. <laughs> like I said, my plan is to not do like an Easter kit, but instead use some of these like really cute outdoorsy like animal kits I've been seeing everywhere. And Alicia has really adorable ones. I just feel like it's really perfect for, for Easter because it's like spring and Easter. It's not like just specific to Easter. All right. So with that being said, I have two adorable kits here. And then I also have some Easter stickers. So I'm gonna pull out the planner so you can see everything for sizing. And also Alicia does do videos on her channel to showcase all of the stickers and you can see the sizing referenced. But I wanted to grab some more of these day clusters. These are my favorite. I go through them 
all the time. And I have the quarter sheets right now, so I'm so glad to have full sheets, or sorry, I have the Tuesday sheets. So I have the quarter sheets in front of me and got them in all three foil colors. They are my favorite date dots ever. They're just so good. Um, and then also these are the Bunny Field Washi. They're so cute. Like, I just, <laughs> I just can't handle how adorable this is. I really love that there's bunnies running in all different directions. These ones are like talking to each other. Like, <laughs> I just can't handle it. And then I got in all three foil colors. Really pretty. So loved that washi. I think that's the only washi I picked up from the Easter stuff. And I still have some Easter stickers from last year, but I wanted to snag a few new ones. Here we have the bunny egg ornament. I love ornament style stickers and I have some from last year as well that are a little bit bigger than this, but these are perfect because there are little bunnies inside and it's just so cute. So I'll use these in um, tandem with the other one. I think they're going to be so pretty. Let's see here. Okay, next we have the hopping bunny. Like it's just like line art bunnies. <laughs> they're so cute. They're so adorable. And this the size is so teeny tiny. Like even for the or ornaments, they're so small. Love them. These are so cute. And then I naturally had to also get the bunny fields and just the dividers, just in case I wanted to also use them in the columns because I don't think this is just specific to Easter. I think you can totally use this for all of spring. That was actually the intent when I was um, purchasing some of these. I only got a few that I felt like were gonna be very Easter specific like this. These are the Easter eggs and I couldn't resist. I saw Alicia's video and I was like, yeah, these are so cute. I have to, <laughs> I have to get them. Look at this one, it's a bunny. It's a bunny shaped as an egg. Like what? I can't, it's so cute. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm a little bit embarrassed with how much I'm geeking out right now. Uh, these are genuine reactions. So here we have the bunny pots, like they're peeping out. Look at the bunny ears. It looks like cactus because of the ears. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> these are the bunny pots. It's kind of like a little midi divider. So adorable. And then Love these mini bunny outlines. They're so pretty. They're less like cartoony or like, I don't know how to describe it. Let me get the other ones. Like they don't look as much, they don't look like these. Like these I think look a little bit more like cartoony and these are definitely more just like outlines. Like these look like the parents of those ones, you know? Like the other ones are like the babies and those are the parents. And then I still have some ears from last year, but I wanted to get some more because I think I was like running low on some and they're just so cute. I had to have some more. So those are perfect. And then now I'm gonna get into the kits. Sorry for that noise. Um, which one do I wanna do first? I, I'll do this one first. This is called Wild Forest. And I just feel like this might be my Easter kit, honestly, because it's got a bunch of animals and um, even though there's a squirrel, like. I can totally add all the bunny like stickers I have and make it more um, Easter specific that way. But I grabbed three floral this time, mostly because a lot of the floral here are very different than what I'm used, used, used to using so that they're more like lines and stems and it's gonna be a little bit challenging for me and different. So I'm excited because they're still really beautiful. I just wanna be able to have extras of some that I might not know how to use or um, yeah, but this is so pretty. I love how like shallow this is. It's so gorgeous. You guys, look how pretty that is. I like the individual pieces coming down there. All right, so here are the beautiful full boxes. Did it just get darker in my room? Wow. I think a cloud is covering the sun or something. <laughs> if you truly love nature, you will find beauty anywhere. Vincent Van Gogh, beautiful. Stop it right now. This is so cute. It's giving me like White Deer Stationery vibes. Like um, if you have had any kits from White Deer Stationery, she uses a lot of animals like that. It's really cute. Here are all of your boxes, same format. <gasps> are those supposed to be bunny ears? Stop it. Alicia, if you're watching this, are these supposed to be bunny ears? Because <laughs> they kind of could work. That's really cute. Really pretty. And if you see what I'm talking about, in the um, February mystery kit, there was more white space in between the um, florals, whereas here you have like one floral full box and then she just like cut them to make headers. And that's kind of the difference um, with the other one. So 
Love them. This is so cute. I think these are supposed to be bunny ears or not. Maybe they're not if I'm doing it upside down. I don't know. Whatever makes your heart happy. Just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> it could work out though. I love this like cotton candy background. The animals are so cute. There's a bunny. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. Look how cute they are. I don't usually go for animals in my kits, but there's this. I okay. <laughs> I could not read them. <laughs> Swinging. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at it. It's like playing with flowers or picking something. I don't know. This is so cute, you guys. I love this. The deer is just like, or whatever that is. I don't know. I'm terrible at this stuff. Wow, all of those years of watching Animal Planet and I still don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay, it's fine. So here is Wild Forest. I think this is gonna be my Easter week kit unless I see a kit out there that just like speaks to me. But right now, that's kind of where I am. And then this is the May 2023 kit. Did I snag this? This wasn't a mystery kit. Yeah, I don't think this was a mystery. Yeah, this was not a mystery kit. Um, okay, so what am I doing here? I love this. It's so pretty. I grabbed three um, just because these are definitely more like clusters and like rounded and it's going to be a little bit challenging to make them like wrap around and, and kind of have like a flow that I use in my in my spreads. But I love all the individual pieces. It's just so pretty. Those are lemons. That's so cute. And here are all of your floral trims. And again, lemon kits are just like so cute in my opinion. I just need to start using them because I have like two lemon kits I still haven't used. <laughs> it says everything is a fresh start. How cute is that? I love the pink lemons too. Gosh, this is so gorgeous. Holy smokes. Okay, this design is breathtaking. The dainty dots on top of a very thin scallop it's beautiful. So Alicia, if you would make that a divider, I would get full sheets of that. It is so pretty. And here again is the difference with the headers, how she did, might not have put like white space, but she was a little bit more intentional about the placement of the florals, which was different from the kit I just showed you. So that's another good example. And I know it takes a lot of work to do that. So thank you, Alicia, for doing that extra detail. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. So pretty. Oh my gosh, it's sticking. Yeah, I'm gonna need a full sheet of that, this, like this design here. That is so pretty. You guys, like I'm, I'm truly like blown away with how stunning this is. So good. Then all of your um, deco pieces, and I love that these are just a solid color. Yeah, so this is the May 2023 kit. That is everything from Sadie Stickers. It was a thick, a thick Happy Meal order from Sadie Stickers, like. As you can see, we have four different kits, a ton of beautiful like Easter stickers, and my code is Rachel20 for 20% off. We are updating my freebie, like I said, a couple of times, so definitely put my name in the notes to seller if you want that. So lastly, we have Letters to Apollo. This was a gift from the Galentines with a planner event. It was in our little gift at the table. So thank you for this, Jess. It is absolutely beautifully packaged and I really wanted to save it for last because I just feel like there are a lot of fun goodies in here. Oops, some are, um, oh, how pretty is that? And I will probably be reusing a lot of this for journaling. It's just so pretty, black and white with butterflies and flowers. And then, whoa, okay. Oh, those are, wow. Are those full on tweezers? No way. <laughs> okay, this is so cool. This is really cool. So here we just have some, I think these are like journaling pages and then we have pieces of paper and then some stickers here on transparent paper. Love that. This is totally perfect for journaling. This is, this makes me really happy. Like I love this. And then she threw in a set of tweezers. How cool and nice is that? And they're the pointy tweezers. Really great quality, love that. And then I really like this. It's I think it's supposed to be um, journaling inspired. So there's a ton of like journaling papers that are beautiful. I love the pattern and the design on them. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's a lot that you can make really fun spreads with. I love this one. This has like a um, white print on it. How beautiful is that? That is so pretty. 
love that. And then here we have some more papers. I love the texture. The weight is really good. It's just perfect. Probably really easy and simple to tear if you do that kind of journaling. Thank you so much for this, Jess. This is very creative and I love this. This is so pretty. And then here we have a January vault um, transparent matte like deco or journaling page, I think. Oops. This is so pretty. This is adorable. Let me zoom you in. The film strip. This is so cute. It was perfect for a Galentine's. That is really pretty. Then here is the freebie. A full um week of the days. And then some really pretty boxes here hanging from the bow. A little shopping never hurt anyone. That's so cute. All right, so that's everything from Letters to Apollo. This is really pretty. I love the whole concept of this. This is very creative and functional, at least for me. If you do journaling, this is probably right up your alley as well. So that's everything from Letters to Apollo. That's actually everything for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment below. But as always, I do have discount codes listed in the description bar below if you're interested in saving some money. But otherwise, take care and I hope that you're doing well. I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.